guys my name is ankush kaurav and i welcome you to gone to series in the previous tutorials we learned about transient persistent and detached states of an object in a hibernate application we also learned about how do we convert an object from a transient state to a persistent state and how do we convert an object from a persistent state to a detached state but one thing we didn't look so far and that is how do we convert an object from a detached state to a persistent state there are two questions here first question is how do we convert an object from a detached state to a persistent state and the second question is why do we really want to convert it what would be those requirements or situations in a real hibernate application where you would want to convert a detached object to a persistent object in this tutorial i'll take up this how part but this why part i'll take up later when i'll talk about concurrency and transaction related concepts in a hibernate framework all right let's start here in this demo i'm getting an object from student table using a get function and we know that whatever object we get out of a get function always lives in a persistent state and the object would remain in the persistent state till the statement in the code we close the session and if an object is in the persistent state what it means is if you make any modification to that object then hibernate would make sure to sync up that modification with the corresponding record which is present in the database table by firing an update query and we covered this very well in the previous tutorials let's proceed further now if i close the session here what will happen hibernate says if we close the session then an object which is in the persistent state in that session would convert into a new state known as a detached state so this student object right after session dot close here is in the detached state an object in a detached state simply means that it's having a corresponding record present in the database table but is not associated with any session means hibernate would not automatically sync up the modification made to a detached object to the corresponding record present in the database table as it does in a case of persistent object let me show you programmatically what i'm saying here let me delete off this statement okay so now if i run this hibernate application what will happen hibernate would fetch a record from student table having student value id as 2 that means this record and then here i am modifying this student object so according to the definition of detached object hibernate should completely ignore this statement and should not update this object with this modified value for the student name let us run and check this out cool as per our expectation hibernate has not fired an update query also in the database it has not updated the name from gone to one to this modified value all right now let's talk about a case when i would want hibernate to sync up the changes made to a detached object also so what i want is here i'm making modification to a detached object i want hibernate to sync up this modification with the corresponding record which is present in the database table automatically by firing an update query hibernate says if you want to do that just convert the state of this detached object to the persistent state and rest hibernate would do for you automatically and how you would convert an object from a detached to a persistent state hibernate says just open a new session and pass the detached object to the update function of that new session and that's it if you do this then hibernate would convert an object from detached to persistent state let me write the code and show you this thing here i'm simply opening a new session and then 
I'm passing this detach object to the update function of this new session. So with this code, Hibernate would convert the state of a student object from a detached to a persistent state. So if I run this Hibernate application now, what will happen? Let's run and see this thing. If you see in the logs what Hibernate has done, Hibernate has fired an update query. Hibernate has fired this update query to sync up this modification with the database record. Let us check in the database if it has updated the corresponding student record with this student name or not. Cool. Hibernate here has modified the student name for student value ID 2 from gone to 1 to modifying student name in the detached state. So here in this tutorial we learned how to convert an object from a detached to a persistent state. And we also saw in the demo one of the benefits for converting an object from a detached to a persistent state. The benefit was if you make any modification to a detached object and you want Hibernate to sync up that modification with the corresponding record which is present in the database table automatically by firing an update query, then you would need to reattach a detached object to a session by passing the detached object to the update function of that session. Or in simple words, by converting the object state from detached to the persistent state by passing it to the update function. Guys, thank you for liking my tutorials. If you have any comments or feedback, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this ID. Please like the video if you really liked it and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series and I'm going to catch you in the next tutorial.